Hey guys, Gus here. I pulled the trigger, traded the 850 Max XT for this beast. The Outlander XMR 1000. It's much uh, higher than the other one, made for mud. This is my first rod, I just got it maybe 20 minutes ago. It's, there's a little bit of rain today and I said, screw it, man, I'm trying this thing out. And um, there's a mud hole coming up here that I'm, I'll be able to baptize it in and uh, see, uh, obviously I gotta, I can't really keep it floored or anything. I'm just in the breaking period, but uh, I'm pretty happy um, with the purchase. Obviously I had, um, the Max XT was a good machine. Uh, it's just me coming from the, 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 this year has been a little bit um, of a learning curve when it comes to uh, to Outlanders or, or Can Ams. I uh, last year I bought a I bought a Yamaha Raptor, and uh, it was early spring, and I rode the Raptor all year. Uh, but the Raptor, um, being 50 years old and all, I after you know spending six seven hours in the trails with the Raptor, you know the knees would start to ache a little bit, and it was it was it's a uh, it's much more of a young man's bike, the Raptor. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's physical, you know, doing those turns and stuff. It's, it takes a lot out of you. So uh, I stopped in as my Can Am dealer at the beginning of the year, and uh, you know, with supplies and stuff, he said, "Hey, you know what? One's coming in," and he showed me what it was. I said, "Hey, you know, I'll take it." So I lost money with the Ra the Raptor, obviously, but uh, I said, "Screw it, right?" I'm. Uh, at least I'll be comfortable and, and I'll be able to go in the mud. But uh, lo and behold, here I am, uh, not even four months later, and I traded that one. The Max, uh, I hit the bar, I bottomed it out a couple of times, the suspension. Um, it was a great machine, love it, uh, loved it. But the type of riding I do, this is the machine for it. So, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to spending uh, some quality time <laughs> with this thing in the in the power lines and under the power lines and stuff where there's a lot of mud. But yeah, uh, the Max XT is gone and the 1000R is the, my go-to machine now. Anyways, I'm gonna put my helmet on and uh, we'll go try her out. There we go. Yeah, this trail, uh, it's only five minutes away from home and it's got a nice big uh, mud uh, mud section where regular, well, my Max XT would have gotten stuck because it's been raining all day and it rained so there's a lot of water right now. I probably wouldn't even have been able to get out of this one. I'm not sure if this one's gonna do it. If I get stuck, I'll have to make a phone call. But this right here is is uh, tricky with any bike that's not an XMR. Like, uh, it, it it's mud. It, it goes, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, just gonna crawl in there and see if it gets out of here without putting it in four by four. Because right here, right here, oh, look at that. Right here, it's mud. My buddy John, I got a video a couple more uh, with his grizzly, you see? See, I'm stuck. So, let's try the four by four. Yeah, no problems. like that and right here is the big one where it's gonna go deep but I don't anticipate not with this machine I don't anticipate getting stuck Johnny almost did the other day with his uh, his grizzly. 
Yeah, this is pretty easy with this. It's gonna go deeper here, I think. Somebody measured the... Uh... Yeah, it's just crawling in here. Oh, there we go. It's spinning now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she just uh, see this is different than the, the Max. This plate right there, it's got nice lights on it. I find the shifter very smooth. I did take the uh, skid plates off my uh, my Max XT and uh, put it on this thing. The factory did it was part of the purchase agreement, but yeah. See the other, the other, uh, my other uh, Max would have been pretty much shit out of luck here. Well, I say that the tires were were bad on it, but this right here, this is a joke. Like it doesn't even. So somebody put that in here to, to see if you could make it through. Yeah, she's easy. I'm gonna have to find, uh, go to that beaver dam there that I, a couple videos ago. And uh, see what I can do there. This is uh, the waters is is higher than usual because of all the rain. up to go mudding. Just wanted to spin them. Well, there you go. So, I'm going to go show this to my brother.